artifacts left behind by ancient civilizations, often discovered in a state of disrepair, buried deep within the layers of the earth, present a formidable challenge to identification. Despite the difficulties associated with their retrieval, some of these relics possess the innate ability to completely transform our understanding of historical timelines and the civilizations that once thrived on our planet. The archaeological community, through the relentless pursuit of knowledge, has made groundbreaking discoveries over the years, unearthing peculiar archaic items that continue to elude full comprehension. This exploration into the past unveils objects of profound mystery, some of which tantalizingly hint at extraterrestrial origins, sparking a cascade of questions about our place in the universe. One such perplexing discovery unfolded high in the Bayankarula Mountains, weaving its way through the vast landscapes of China and Tibet. Here, a complex labyrinth of interconnected caves, either crafted by the hands of man or shaped by the forces of nature, was unveiled. Within the depths of these mysterious caves rested the remains of an unconventional hominid species, initially mistaken for the bodies of apes by a team of archaeologists who serendipitously stumbled upon them in 1938. However, a critical distinction emerged as apes do not engage in the burial of their deceased. The skeletal structures discovered possessed slender limbs, spindly legs, and disproportionately large heads, challenging the conventional understanding of humanoid anatomy. Chinese archaeologist Kai Put and his team, engaged in the meticulous examination of these otherworldly remains, stumbled upon an additional layer of intrigue. Amidst the skeletal discoveries, a circular stone disc lay half-buried in the cave floor. Composed of stone and featuring a central hole, the disc displayed spiral inscriptions or grooves reminiscent of hieroglyphs. Despite the concerted efforts of experts and ancient writing specialists, the language encoded in these grooves remained indecipherable. Furthermore, engravings on the cave walls depicted celestial bodies, the rising sun, moon, and stars interconnected by lines of tiny dots, prompting speculation about a potential form of communication by this unique species. A critical breakthrough arrived two decades later when experts in Peking successfully translated the enigmatic disc. The revelations were nothing short of astonishing, a narrative unfolded, detailing the arrival of a space probe from another planet that had crashed in the remote highlands. The inhabitants of this advanced civilization sought refuge on Earth but faced adversity from taller neighbors, compelling them to seek sanctuary on other celestial bodies. The disclosure of this remarkable story, however, was met with resistance from authorities, who chose to withhold the information, leaving numerous questions unanswered. In Ayud, Romania, another enigmatic artifact emerged, challenging the boundaries of historical understanding. Miners, engaged in their routine work along the banks of the Meurs River, uncovered an object buried over 35 feet beneath the sandy seashore. This object, later known as the aluminum wedge of Ayud, defies easy categorization. It lacks a discernible age or purpose, presenting a conundrum to researchers attempting to fit it into the broader historical narrative. What adds to the complexity of this discovery is the object's coating of patina, a layer that typically takes centuries if not millennia, to develop. Astonishingly, despite its ancient appearance, the material of the wedge closely resembles modern aluminum, a substance that was not thought to have existed during the Mastodon era, approximately 11,700 years ago. The perplexing timeline surrounding this clunky aluminum wedge have given rise to a myriad of theories, ranging from extraterrestrial origins to complex preservation methods. Yet, the true nature and purpose of this mysterious object remain elusive. In the small town of Ottostal, nestled in South Africa's northern northwest province, miners excavating pyrophyllite mines brought forth yet another set of inexplicable artifacts, the Klerksdorp spheres. These metallic spheres, dark reddish-brown in color and slightly flattened, range in size from less than a centimeter to ten centimeters wide. What sets them apart are the three parallel grooves running around the equator of some specimens, giving them an uncanny appearance of being manufactured. The Earth, in its early stages, was deemed insufficient to sustain intelligent species capable of creating the perplexing spheres that have stirred profound interest and suspicion within various fringe organizations. These include proponents of Christian and Hindu creationism, along with adherents of the Thlancient astronaut's theory. These fringe groups propose that the spheres, regarded as out-of-place artifacts, OOPARTs, 
serve as direct evidence of a civilization predating the biblical flood, possibly existing billions of years ago. Supporters of the ancient astronauts, hypothesis assert that extraterrestrial beings were responsible for crafting the Ottostal items. The exploration of mysterious artifacts extends to the dagger found within King Tutankhamun's tomb during the early 1920s. The iron dagger, approximately a foot in length and crafted from an iron meteorite, has perplexed scientists for over a century. Recent studies present conflicting theories about the weapon's origins, with one proposing production in Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, and another asserting unknown earthly origins. The rarity of iron during King Tutankhamun's reign, coupled with the absence of advanced iron smelting technology, adds complexity to the mystery. The Betts family's encounter with the mysterious metallic sphere known as the Betts Sphere or the Lod Ball took place during a stroll in the woods in 1974. Discovered by Terry Betts, the sphere exhibited unusual behavior, such as humming in response to guitar strumming, independent rolling, and abrupt direction changes. This enigmatic sphere, often considered extraterrestrial in origin, gained popularity and caught the attention of investigators, including Ron Kivett, a local radio show host specializing in paranormal events. The discovery of a gear shift embedded in a 300 million and year old chunk of coal in Russia raises questions about Earth's ancient history. Scientists, puzzled by the regular shape resembling a modern tooth wheel, question its natural occurrence. Dmitry, who found the artifact, contacted biologist Valerie Breyer, leading to the conclusion that it resembled a toothed metal rail created artificially. Despite the absence of humans on Earth 300 million years ago, experts suggest the possibility of alien origin for this mysterious metallic object. In the realm of unconventional artifacts, the Hypatia stone stands out as a captivating find in western Egypt. Discovered in 1996 by geologist Ali Burakate, the rock defies earthly explanations with its micro-mineral compositions not found on Earth, meteorites, comets, or anywhere else in the solar system. Named after Hypatia of Alexandria, the first notable Western female astronomer and mathematician, the Hypatia stone remains a subject of intrigue, challenging our understanding of geological and extraterrestrial phenomena. Within the vast tapestry of Earth's antiquity, the prevailing notion suggests that the early stages of our planet were deemed incapable of nurturing intelligent beings adept at, crafting the enigmatic spheres that now serve as a nexus of both fascination and skepticism. These arcane artifacts which not only bewilder mainstream archaeologists but also kindle intense interest and suspicion within the realms of fringe organizations, encompass a spectrum that includes proponents of Christian and Hindu creationism. In these artifacts, these believers discern potential evidence challenging conventional timelines, aligning with narratives of civilizations predating the biblical flood, possibly flourishing billions of years ago. Moreover, adherents of the ancient astronauts theory posit that these artifacts, especially the Ottersdal items, bear the distinctive hallmark of extraterrestrial craftsmanship, weaving a narrative that intricately stretches the boundaries of our comprehension of Earth's ancient chronicles. The journey into artifacts defying traditional explication extends to the discovery of an iron dagger within the recesses of King Tutankhamun's tomb during the early 1920s. Amidst the antechambers teeming with a myriad of artifacts ranging from statues, furniture, jewels, garments, chariots, to paintings, the iron dagger emerged as a puzzling enigma. Forged from an iron meteorite, this one-foot-long dagger has confounded scientists for over a century. Recent studies proffer conflicting perspectives on its origins, with one suggesting Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, as the likely production site and another asserting an enigmatic earthly origin. The scarcity of iron during the reign of King Tutankhamun, coupled with the absence of advanced iron smelting technology, injects layers of complexity into this enduring mystery, beckoning researchers to plunge deeper into the annals of ancient craftsmanship. The Betts family's encounter with the Betts Sphere, also known as the Lod Ball, in 1974 amplifies the intrigue surrounding unconventional artifacts. Unearthed during a leisurely stroll in the woods around their property on Jacksonville's Fort George Island, the metallic sphere, akin to the size of a bowling ball, exhibited peculiar characteristics. Terry Betts, a 21-year-old pre-med student, brought the sphere home as a souvenir, unwittingly setting in motion a series of events that would captivate the imaginations of investigators and enthusiasts alike. The sphere's ability to emit a humming sound in response to guitar strumming, 
its autonomous rolling, abrupt directional shifts, vibrations, and high-pitched noises eliciting reactions from animals catapulted it into the realm of the unexplained. Referred to as the Mystery Sphere or Oddball, it rapidly gained popularity, prompting local radio show host Ron Kivett to corroborate the Betts family's claims. Kivett's investigation, coupled with numerous others, fueled the notion that the Betts Sphere might harbor extraterrestrial origins, designed by an otherworldly intelligence for an as yet unknown purpose. The cryptic revelation of a gear shift embedded in a 300 million and year. Old chunk of coal in Russia poses a staggering enigma for historians and scientists alike. While most scientists concur that Earth was in its infancy 300 million years ago, devoid of land animals resembling dinosaurs, the discovery of this standard machine part, resembling a modern tooth wheel, challenges established narratives. Dmitry, a resident of Vladivostok, stumbled upon this perplexing artifact in a lump of coal intended for winter heating. The metallic-looking rail or rod forcibly inserted into the coal prompted Dmitry to seek the expertise of biologist Valerie Breyer. Initial investigations hinted at an artificial origin, akin to parts found in microscopes and various technical and electronic devices. The irregular shape of the tooth wheel further fueled speculation, prompting experts to contemplate the possibility of an alien origin for this metallic object, thus raising profound questions about technological advancements in Earth's distant past. In the tapestry of unconventional artifacts, the Hypatia stone emerges as a captivating enigma discovered in western Egypt by geologist Ali Burakate in 1996, named after Hypatia of Alexandria, the first notable western female astronomer and mathematician. This rock defies terrestrial explanations. Despite its diminutive size, fractured into minuscule shards, the Hypatia stone boasts micro-mineral compositions absent on Earth, meteorites, comets, or anywhere else in the solar system. Its existence challenges the very fabric of geological understanding, suggesting the possibility of extraterrestrial origins that transcend the boundaries of our cosmic comprehension. In the intricate mosaic of Earth's ancient mysteries, these artifacts beckon us to reassess our understanding of history, extending an invitation to explore narratives that traverse conventional boundaries. As we delve into the depths of the past, the enigma of these unconventional artifacts continues to captivate the human imagination, fueling the relentless pursuit of knowledge and unraveling the intricacies of our planet's ancient tapestry.